sweet. Good morning, everyone. I'm pissed. Um, so, <laughs> you, as you guys know, a Haters Back Off isn't continuing. Um, we only got to do the two seasons, which I'm extremely grateful for, but um, we're not doing any more, and it was not my decision. Netflix called me and said we're not continuing the show, and um, as you, if you've been watching my vlogs every day, you saw that a few days ago, customer service at Netflix was telling my fans that I was lying about it and that um, I made it up to get attention online, which is insane. Um, and then Net, the official Netflix account responded and said, we're looking into this. Clean was a great partner with us. You know, we, you know, we're very sorry about this. Well, someone just tweeted me that today they had a conversation with Netflix and um, they said they want to know why they're not doing a third season. And Netflix said, Colleen Ballinger, the creator of Miranda Sings, decided not to continue telling the story. However, Netflix will have the two seasons available for our viewers of that show. A lie, a blatant lie. Now, I know that customer service is not like the heads of Netflix, so they're, you know, maybe they don't have their information straight. Obviously, they don't because they're just straight up lying to my fans which is fine, just say I don't know. Like customer service should say, I don't know the information on that, I'm sorry. Or let me try to find that out for you and talk to someone and get back. But to straight up lie about me is so frustrating. And I, like, I've said this in another vlog, but I loved working with Netflix. Everyone I worked with personally, the executive producers, the heads of Netflix, wonderful people to work with. I wanna work with them again. I loved them. I loved my time at Netflix. If I ever wrote another show, I'd wanna do it at Netflix. But I don't understand why this is happening and it's really frustrating. Obviously, I would never cancel my own show. Why would I do that? Why would I make up for views that my show got canceled? Like, that is insane to me. So I don't know why they're continuing to do this. It's really frustrating. <sighs> anyway, today we're gonna go to the other side of the island and hang out over there and um, that'll be fun. But anyway, yeah, that's what I woke up to today and it's just really frustrating. And a lot of you guys are wanting answers so that's why you're talking to customer service. Um, I'll make a video explaining probably everything later when it's easier for me to talk about but right now it's still too emotional <laughs> and too hard and I've seen people be like, get over it. And um, you can think that you can have that opinion but to me it was it was more than just like a show like it was my entire life the show was based on my life like the scenes that you guys saw were based on true things that happened to me so for me to tell my life story and be developing something for literally a third of my life I spent working on this show it's really hard for me to say goodbye it's it's taking time and um, so anyway I'm sad and I'm gonna go hang out with my family now to try to feel better we are at this beautiful beach called Ko'ona, wait, Ho'ohokapi, oh, 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 oh shoot, I don't remember, sorry, I'm so offensive, but I've been here before, I came here with Heather, I think, and um, there was turtles all over the beach last time I was here, but the most incredible part was there's this little hot dog stand called Bob's Dogs, the guys from Santa Barbara who started this hot dog truck place, not sponsored, not ad, um, but they're really good. So here's the hot dog stand. Best workers in all the island. You get your money back. My mouth's watering just thinking about it. <laughs> Those are the best hot dogs on the island. Right? We didn't even get pictures of them because we're like. <sighs> I know, but how good was it? It was delicious. It was the best hot dog. I think it's the best hot dog I've ever had, and I'm not kidding. Like it was really good. It wasn't good. like a regular hot dog. It had like spices in it, and then he cuts it in half and then fries both of the sides of the wiener, so that you get. Like and he said that sides. he said that he went to a bake. He went to a bunch of bakeries when he moved here. Found the best Maui bread, like sweet yeah. bread. And then he said, "Can you make a bun out of that?" And they really? make him buns special just for this. He found the best bread he could to make them to make his buns. Amazing, you guys. If you're ever in Maui, come to Bob's Dogs. Bob's. Oh. Not sponsored, not ad. Wish I was. Wish I was getting paid at all by YouTube anymore. <laughs> hey, Eric! <laughs> Eric, can I come sit with you? Beautiful, beautiful thing. This is wild. Seeing a creature in the wild. 
What a beautiful thing. <laughs> it's so cute. It is a beautiful thing. A coconut. Coco Campana. We have a very rare species of animal. It's called the mother bear. She's climbing the rocks looking for a mate. If we watch long enough, we'll see her do her mating call. There, she's starting. She's starting. Oh no, she stopped. Oh, she's doing the mating call. There it is. There it is. She's doing the mating call. Can you do that again? There she is doing the mating call. She can't move from the spot until she has a mate. There's a mate! Right over here. He has no idea that there's a sexy mama bear behind him doing the mating call. Oh, he just heard it. Here we have mama bear Gwyn. Searching high and low for a to give. She found one in her purse. Review of the turtle on a scale of one to 10. Turtle 11. It was thrilling, it was adventurous, and it was beautiful at the same time. Review of the turtle, mom, scale of ah! 1 to 10. What? Scale of 1 to 10. 12,000. Review of the turtles. Magical experience. What do you think of the turtles? Oh, cool. Thanks for the review. I don't know her. Wow, the turtles were amazing, and now it's pizza time. I just noticed whenever I turn on the camera, I touch my hair. Rachel does it too. I caught myself doing it because Rachel does it. Whenever Rachel starts filming herself, she puts her fingers to her hair like that, and I'm always like trying to fluff it or touch it, so I'm sorry. Please go through and count how many times I touch my hair in this vlog and make fun of me. Thanks. But look how good this pizza looks. Since Eric keeps singing the Jurassic Park theme song, we thought we'd take him to a place that looks like Jurassic Park. How are you doing on your song, Eric? Got more lyrics? Yes. He was just singing more lyrics, and now all of a sudden he's pretending like he doesn't yeah, remember them. This is not good too. You have to make this one. is not good too. Lyric video coming soon. gonna go into the Oceano. Hot out here and I'm definitely a burnt on my chest which is misery so I'm gonna try to cool off but I usually get up to like the crevice area and then I'm out. We'll see how long this lasts. We went in the water. I'm not naked. It really looks like I'm naked. I'm not. Uh, we went in the water. It was very nice. I lasted about five minutes but I caught a wave. Eric caught a few and that's the update. Here's Bird coming to visit us. Oh birdie. I also really want to get another ukulele. You guys know I have a ukulele obsession. We'll see what I end up with. That's kind of what I want to do next. Can you hear this? <laughs> I'm just sitting here minding my business. He turns on this music. <laughs> but he won't let me film him. I can't monetize this, so if you have this playing every day my film. The boys are in my room, we're gonna watch the sunset, and I just took a shower so I look like I have crispy curls. Whenever my hair is wet and curly, it looks like I put in too much gel, and it's like, <laughs> like crispy, crunchy curls, but it's not, it's just wet, all right? It's not crispy, crunchy <laughs> curls. We got ball. a fruit plate. Oh, How this is, is it? the star fruit we saw today. Yeah, yeah. Ooh. Try it. I got Corey a little fruit plate. They're tasting the weird fruits because we got these hairy fruits. I tried them backstage in my show. Star fruit tastes like a green apple mixed with. I want to like taste one. Citrus. I've never had star fruit before. Ah, this is so weird. Whoa! Oh, it is like a green apple. Green apple mixed with like. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what it is? Those um, those like weeds that you eat that your parents are always like, don't eat those. The like, dogs pee on them. The flower, the yellow flowers with the long green stems. Green apple mixed with grass. <laughs> You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Wait, one of the yellow flowers? Yeah. We pick those and suck those. Yeah, but you're not supposed to because dogs pee on them. That's what my mom always said. She like, don't eat those dogs pee on them. And I was like, these are good. They're like sour. Yeah. What do you think? Hawaii's got fruit. Hawaii's got fruit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so soft. This is like a beat. Two thumbs, two thumbs like that. that. Yeah, and aim. Happy do ya. Come on. Ah! Oh, she did it.
incredible ukulele store. I found one I really like. Look how pretty this is. It's made out of mango wood and it has six strings. I think I'm in love with it. I think I need to get it. It's so pretty. I don't know, I'm like really obsessed with this one. Do you wanna play it? Liberation, I decided to purchase this bad boy. What do you guys think? I gotta focus. Thank you. Can I see it? It's pretty, it's made out of mango wood. I don't know why my camera won't focus. And then the sides have this cool design on it. And it's six strings with a low G string. Um, was made here on the island. Pretty. So now we're gonna have a little bite to eat and then go to bed, girl. Oh, look, I'm touching my hair. See, I told you I do it every time I film myself. Um, we just ordered some sliders and some sushi. And I still need to get this one's rendition of Jurassic Park before I go to bed. If you want me to make that lyric video, I can't do it unless you sing it. Good.